Alrighty, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to do a video over pressure conversions because this is probably the only thing that you guys will actually need like help with because um, the rest of it is just reading and kind of learning the words, you know, like I was telling you guys in class the other day. Um, so we have four units of pressure that we are actually going to be dealing with. Um, the first of which is millimeters of mercury and tor, and these two guys are pretty much the same thing. Um, tor is a millimeter of mercury, it's just named after this guy, uh, some odd Tor Selly. Uh, he was an Italian guy that I guess did a lot of work with pressure. Um, and so those two guys are pretty much the same thing. The unit that we'll use most often is the atmosphere, and it's abbreviated ATM, and a lot of times I'll just call it ATM. Uh, and then the SI unit is the Pascal. And the reason it's the SI unit is because the Pascal is derived from newtons and meters. And if you remember back when we were talking about what pressure is, pressure is equal to force over an area. Force is measured in newtons, and area is usually measured in a distance squared, which uh, most the SI unit for distance is meters squared. And so that's what a Pascal is equal to is a Newton over a meter squared. Um, but like I said, we'll most often use this unit. And when we do use Pascals, since a Pascal is so small, we actually use a kilopascal more often than anything else. So how do you convert from one thing to the other? Oh, look at that ugly writing that stayed put. Um, here are your conversions right here. One atmosphere is equal to 760 torr, which is also equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. Remember I said that these two guys were pretty much the same thing, um, which is equal to 101.325 kilopascals. Uh, if you just want to memorize this number, 101.3, that's actually probably plenty of sig figs, probably more than enough for what you guys will need to be doing. Um, so let's actually practice a couple of these. <laughs> Look how the ink doesn't go away. <laughs> okay, so we're going to convert 0.927 atmospheres to millimeters of mercury, tor, and kilopascals. So starting out with, and I am going to set these up like a stoichiometry, but they are just con simple one-step conversions, so you don't have to set them up like this if you don't want to. So 0 0.927 atmospheres converting to millimeters of mercury for every one atmosphere we have 760 millimeters of mercury and so you work that out you can cross out atmospheres you just basically take point, uh, 0.927 and multiply it by 760 and let me take my calculator out here something a little less than 760 and I get 704.52, but um, I'm only allowed, uh, well, you can say that there's a decimal there. Um, I'm allowed three sig figs, so my answer is 705 millimeters of mercury. And remember, a tor is equal to a millimeter of mercury. So if I have 705 millimeters of mercury, then I also have 705 tor. Then coming down here to kilopascals, 0 0.927 ATMs. For every one ATM, we have 101.3 kilopascals. So you plug that in, 0 0.927 times 101.3, and I get 93.9051, allowed three sig figs, so 93.9 kilopascals. Okay, on the next page, Got some more conversions. Of course, the ink's not going to go away, so I'm going to have to erase it. Okay, so we're going to take 148.6 kilopascals and we're going to convert it to each of our little guys here. So, same setup 148.6 kilopascals for every 101.3 kilopascals we have one atmosphere. So now we're dividing 148.6 divided by 101.3 and I'm allowed four sig figs so I get 1.467 atmospheres. Coming down to millimeters of mercury 148.6 kPa 
101.3 kPa, and if you went back to that slide from before, you would see that 101.3 kilopascals is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. And so we take 148.3, multiply that by 760, and then divide it by 101.3. And we are allowed three sig figs, so 1,110 millimeters of mercury. And remember, millimeters of mercury and tor are the exact same thing. So then we also have 1,110 tor. And that's about it.